Hello you guys, welcome if you're new here. Hello, my name is Angie and if you're not, then welcome back bestie. So for today's video, I'm honestly just gonna be bringing you guys along. Honestly, I don't really have a lot planned, but I did wanna come to the segunda because low key, I'm like, damn, summer is here and I don't really have a lot of shorts. Like I have um, biker shorts and stuff, like gym clothes like that, um, but I don't have like denim shorts and that's what I've been really wanting to buy, like denim shorts that like fit nice and everything. Um, so we're here at the segunda because you guys know I freaking love thrift shopping and of course they're prices like why not um but yeah we're here with little manny he's in the back chilling he actually woke up like 30 minutes ago so he's not in the best mood but anyways i did my makeup today and i did a little bit of a wing liner vibes low-key i don't usually do my eyeliner because one always comes out crooked or one comes out like going that way and the other one up and it's just not the vibe but i feel like today is slayed but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys do don't forget to subscribe down below and turn your post notifications on that way you'll notified every single time i post brand new video but yeah anyway sorry i don't have a lot of energy today but i need to re-up on my energy girl but anyways let's head on into the thrift store let's try to find some denim jean shorts y a ver que mas you know a ver que mas se me pega so let's go okay so i forgot my tripod but we made it inside the thrift store you guys does this look weird i don't know whatever anyways we already made it inside i came to the short section but it's low-key like more like skirts and i found this is this cute or no it's like a little skirt Let's keep looking and hoping we find shorts because I need shorts, not skirts. But I mean, skirts are a plus too. Mm, yeah. Wow. It's <laughs> 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 so big. It's so big. So we have been walking around plenty and Loki have found a bunch of things. Okay, but anyways, I was trying to say that I found a bunch of stuff, um, but it was just too crowded over there and I don't want them to be like, what the heck is this girl doing, you know? And then obviously I still get a little shy, but yeah. <laughs> and then I also don't want to get kicked out by like the employees because I've basically, I didn't get kicked out last time from TJ Maxx, but they were like, you can't be recording here. And I was like, I guess. I'm in the men's section now and look, I found this this um like jersey it's cute huh let's not say why but anyways we are like i said in the men's section i like going to the men's section like the men's clothes because sometimes they have better shit than the girls anyways manny found this hat you like it it's chase it's chase like they're like a little small but whatever he's probably gonna end up taking it because why not but okay let's keep looking around see if we find anything else and yeah Period. Okay, so I'm gonna try on the stuff really quick, like on top of my clothes, because I don't want to just like purchase it and then have it not fit me. I'm not gonna steal them. Oh, they're too big. Okay, period. So these shorts actually fit me, so I think I'm gonna take these for sure. Lord. Okay, I feel like this one's gonna be hard to like tell because it's like black. Here's the like leather dress, you guys. No se puede ver a lot, but if it's really nice, actually, should I take it or should I not? Not the ugly ass outfit underneath. I think it's cute, huh? Kinda like it. Okay, so here is the purple dress. I know it's not giving the vibes right now because obviously I have clothes underneath, but do we like or no? I think it's kind of cute, but I don't know if I would wear this. Probably not. It's cute, but not cute on me. But anyways, let me show y'all the OTD today. These are the vibes, all black, with my Nikes. Yes. Cute, huh? And then Manny's over here. <laughs> He's mad. Okay, so it's actually a little bit later. Well, actually, it's a lot later. Let me show you guys the time. It is, can you guys see, 3.08? Yeah, it's 3.08 p.m. now. Um, I went to the doctor, so, you know, got some blood drawn or whatever. But anyways, I dropped off my son after the thrift store. I ended up dropping off my son, and I don't think I gave you guys a haul. And if I did, I showed you guys at the thrift store, but I'm going to just give you guys a haul in case I didn't. But anyways, I low-key found a lot of good things, but some of them just didn't fit, or I just didn't like the quality of it. But anyways, first things first. I got this really cute like corset top isn't it so freaking pretty like i don't know i just thought it was super cute and it was only 3.99 
um oh my god sorry that i'm a little out of it i'm just like ugh, this heat is like pissing me off low-key and then since they like what say? since they took out blood like i feel a little like ooh, woozy you know so i'm like let me not drive anyways okay let me get my freaking energy up but okay next thing that i got was this como se dice? Como un, like little vest i don't know i feel like it's not in right now because it's summer but this is gonna look super cute like during como se dice? like fall vibes there we go fall vibes so i'm excited for that another thing that i got was this skirt right here this is like more of like a black grayish vibes but it's super cute it has like buttons right here and this one was a 4.99 so that was really cheap um next i ended up finding one pair of jean shorts low-key i wanted to get more but they don't have a lot of them that fit me at least so i found this one right here they're super cute and these actually fit really really nicely i actually tried them on in there and this one was a 3.99 another thing i got i'm pretty sure i showed you guys this one but i got the leather dress this one right here it's super super cute and then this one was uh 4.99 i feel like this dress i'm low-key gonna wear it either to a baile or i'm probably gonna wear it to like a little date night vibes but i don't know but we'll find somebody <laughs> but yeah i got that and then lastly i don't know why this is so random but i found this like weird looking hat thing i don't know i had never seen these and it has a hole and it's like stretchy. I don't know, like headband vibes. This one was $2.99. But low-key, I got it because it was pink, like hello. And then also because you guys know I started running or whatever. So sometimes the sun is beaming in my face and I don't like that shit. So I could put my hair up and then like, you know, use that shit. But anyways, that's actually everything that I got at the segunda. But anyways, okay, that is that. Um, What am I going to do next? Low-key, I don't know. I think I'm going to go live. I've been going live on TikTok so if y'all don't follow me on tiktok go follow me on tiktok right now i'll put my hat like down here or up here but i think i'm gonna go live you guys because i've been going live as of recently i think it's been like a good two weeks that i've been going on and off kind of and yeah that's gonna be that for now and then later we're gonna be going to the gym and then also i have to go run but i really just don't want to run but i know i have to because y'all know i'm gonna be doing that half a marathon really really soon in january and i am nowhere ready but okay anyways i need to hydrate because i low-key really do feel woozy because of this shit i need to get some food in my system i'm gonna go live and yeah i'll catch you guys a little bit later anyways i'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup meanwhile we chit chat you know because yeah this is gonna take a little bit and i don't want it to just be me sitting there like doing it but anyways let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the main thing which is like the update on the giveaway so a couple weeks ago i did mention that as soon as we hit 1k subscribers we were gonna be doing a 50 dollars giveaway and yeah we still are the only thing is that i'm gonna have to postpone it a little bit and let me get into detail as to why because this is actually kind of a long story but i'm gonna try to make it like short so how do i say it because it's kind of i feel like it's kind of embarrassing but then at the same time it's like life happens and shit happens so you know so basically you guys a week after i mentioned that we were going to be doing the giveaway um i lost my job and as you guys i don't know if you guys know but i'm pretty sure most of you guys know if you follow me you know that i actually worked for doordash i was a doordash driver and reason why i worked doordash for so long honestly it was like three plus years was because i had my son and i basically don't have anybody that can watch him for like a nine to five job so i had to look for something where it was like flexible with my hours if that makes any sense and so i looked into doordash and they were hiring like back then they were hiring literally everyone and anyone so i started doing that right so yeah so basically i was working for doordash and that was going well and everything like it worked out with my schedule you know i was able to take care of my son and all of that stuff and then like i said a week after um i mentioned the giveaway i actually got an email that we were all gonna do like background checks like um all the door dashers you know we're gonna get background checks and i was kind of like okay like whatever so basically i couldn't work um the door dash job until my background check came back like clean and i was kind of like okay i don't think i have anything bad on my record so i was like chilling you know i was like okay it's gonna take 10 days i'll be fine so i basically didn't work for about 10 days and then a week and a half later they ended up sending me an email updating me that my account was actually gonna get deactivated for the reason being that my background check came out that I had like an accident on there and I was kind of like what like what accident and then I remembered that I did back up into someone like a month 
or two before and i was like oh shit is that why and i'm guessing that's why they were kind of like no we don't want like reckless drivers or whatever and i was like bitch i don't drive reckless it was just that one time that i accidentally backed up into someone you know low-key low-key i panicked and i was like i need to start like applying for jobs so i ended up applying for a bunch of jobs so yeah i basically lost my job you guys because of that like honestly i didn't think i was gonna need another job that's why i kind of like stayed with doordash i was like yeah hey, whatever like it's chilling you know like i get to do what i want like when i want i'm my own boss nobody tells me shit and now i am desperately looking for a job and i mean obviously i did have my savings like i mean i still do have a little bit of my savings but i don't have like 50 dollars to spare like that you know what i mean like i know like i feel bad saying it but honestly i kind of right now i have to worry about myself and like my financial state you know versus like giving you guys the prize which i'm still gonna be doing the giveaway like don't get me wrong i'm still gonna go ahead and do the giveaway like don't i'm not gonna forget about it you know what i mean but it's just that right now as of right now right now i can't do the giveaway so y'all are gonna have to wait on me and like i said i am so so sorry like truly i'm sorry like this is embarrassing for me like not having a job like i've never been unemployed i've always worked my whole life literally since i was like 15 i started working at the swami so for me this is like a hard patch in my life that i'm like what am i doing in life like i need to get my shit together i don't know it's just so like rough and hard but i know i'll get through it like i said it's just a rough patch in my life but i really hope that you guys can understand why i'm not doing the giveaway yet or i'm not like giving you guys a price yet it's just because miss girl like i like i said i don't have 50 bucks to spare like that like i need to be very cautious of like what i spend my money in and all of that good stuff so with that being said guys like i said i'm apologizing like so many times because i'm like genuinely like sad about it i mean this is life you know life is gonna be hard and there's gonna be ups and downs and this is my down basically but i just wanted to tell you guys that i really truly do appreciate all of you guys like don't get me wrong i'm still gonna you know keep uploading videos and whatnot i will keep you guys updated on the whole you know giveaway situation like eventually i am gonna do the giveaway and honestly as soon as i get my job like whenever i get a job you know um the minute i know i'm hired i'll probably like just do the giveaway because i know i'm gonna start to have income you know what i mean if that makes any sense so yeah you guys that's what we've been doing as of lately looking for jobs trying to apply everywhere and anywhere but i just don't get hired because i don't have a lot of experience um i used to work as a medical assistant in the medical field but that shit was like four years ago and honestly they all they want is people with experience and that's kind of like bitch i only have like one year of experience low-key but i am going to be going to an interview today i low-key i'm very nervous but i know i need this damn job so i'm like pray for me you guys pray for me that i get this job because it's just nerve-wracking like i have not been to an interview in a while now so i'm just like this feels like a first date but you know um but yeah you guys i think that's literally all i had to update you guys in if anybody is wondering about my love life yet no i'm not dating nobody yet i don't know i feel like in a way i kind of want to be in a relationship but not really but i think i just want to be in a relationship because i was in one for so long and i'm kind of like i don't want to be alone you know but at the same time i'm kind of enjoying being by myself you know all i gotta worry is about me and my son that's it so i'm like enjoying the single life but then not really doing single life girl things you know what i mean i don't know but i mean it's fine like i don't mind it i'm chilling i did should i say this uh, i did talk to like i have talked to guys you know recently but i feel like i don't know these mofos are just something else nowadays and i'm like i don't think i could do the whole dating thing 